and welcome to Still Buffering, a sister's guide to teens through the ages. I am Riley Smurl. I'm Sydney McRoy. And I'm Taylor Smurl. So guys, guess what? What? It's the end of the school year for Rilo. And we have four more days left, but by the time this episode comes out, I'll have like two days left. Are you oh, saying nice. that so that like mentally you can pretend you only have two? Yeah. Like even those two days you need yeah. to pretend. Okay. Yeah. You're that you're that anxious for school to end. Yeah. I can't miss them because I have finals, but I can just pretend that it's Tuesday and this episode's coming out and I only have day after tomorrow until the school year is over. Do you That's have right. the hours figured out? Like I feel like you're you're there. Like you know, if I have eight hours in the school day, <laughs> oh, four days very, left. This is very 30, easy math. Thirty two hours. <laughs> These are the Look kind of math problems. You did that. You don't need any more school. You're done. Good. You just passed your test. Yeah. <laughs> this is the final all along. That was my math final. One bit of basic arithmetic. Now, I think there's one. Isn't there something online like an app? I don't know. I saw that you put a thing up about how long it's going to be till we're in New York. 12 days, 22 hours. Yeah. Is that like a, is that a thing online where you can yeah. just go and like type in I'm going and it comes up with one of those clocks? Yeah. You put down like where you're going. Yeah, I what day and then what time or you can just put all day and it tells you how many days how many hours and it creates a thing mm-hmm. 12 days 22 hours is it an app yeah it's an app it's called countdown i bet somebody made a lot of money off that probably nice. <sighs> 12 days 22 <laughs> hours guys <laughs> what was that heavy side <laughs> i just went into the wrong line of work i should have made an app should have made an app oh, to tell people how long they have shame. until they i wish i could come up with an app <laughs> someday Someday I'll make math. Get that app money. I'll Let's figure something out. Money. You know, well, advertiser money? Just some way to make humans dumber. That's what all apps are. <laughs> like It's useful slash make my brain work a little less. Just think of all the way your brain works. and just. That's actually away. really true. I was like, I don't want to figure out how many days until we go to New York. I'm just going like, to get one of these apps. I <laughs> bet there's an app for that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know there's like a Christmas. A- it's like there, there's a Christmas countdown app. There has to be like a like a an event countdown app. Sure enough, first thing there's that popped cr- up. There's a Christmas countdown app. Yeah, I mean, I mean we know. I could probably give you like give me about thirty seconds. I could tell you how many months, days, weeks. Don't we no, seconds that's, until Christmas? That's cool. Like I know when Christmas is. <laughs> like I know. <laughs> I mean, I'll be aware when it shows up. I don't need an alarm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Christmas just sneak up on you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not confused about that fact. What day is? But thanks. What day is Christmas? <laughs> Siri. Siri. Ch- Charlie's always grabbing my phone and trying to talk to Siri. Now she'll pick up my phone and go, Siri, show me happy babies or crying babies. <laughs> yeah, or crying babies, crying which is babies? even scarier. That's she wants dark. to see YouTube videos of crying babies. Guys, two hundred and sixteen days, nine hours, twenty four minutes, and forty five seconds until Christmas. So is that, can we see the Christmas? Season now? Because that doesn't sound like that long of a period of time. And I need yeah. to get max seasonal joy in. Okay. Let's get it. Let's start well, celebrating Christmas now. In, <laughs> in honor of Christmas. the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, now, Riley, I would say that the end of the school year isn't that bad. Um, I mean, I know, like, obviously it's better to not be in school because then yeah. you get to sleep more, which I think is what, that's what you kids like to do most, right? Sleep. Stay up late. Sleep, Eat pizza late. and skateboard. That's what the kids do. <laughs> Eat pizza and skateboard. <laughs> and sleep at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what kids do now. Riley does have a skateboard, to be fair. Yeah, I, I, I saw it in her room and I thought, what? Yep. Oh, no. Okay. She's thought, a cool what? teen. <laughs> Bart Simpson. I didn't know Bart Simpson lived here. Mm. Cool, dude. And I have cool references, too. Eat my Bart shorts. Simpson. Yeah. What? I caramba. <laughs> Butterfingers. He did commercials for Butterfinger. <laughs> <laughs> you know that catchphrase. That, that was it. That was, uh, was that one of his catchphrases? Just Butterfinger. <laughs> he doesn't say it with any emotion. <laughs> or, or any, just any dead eyes out of the audience. <laughs> Butterfinger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it was the, you know, the nobody better lay a finger thing. I think that this was is not an one. ad for Butterfingers, by the way. I, don't... I wish it was. <laughs> they're they're fine in the in the in the hierarchy of candy bars. There's, I would just say fine would be my review. <laughs> oh, that's the, you know, I, I would go better with the chicka stick, which is like a Butterfinger in concentrate, no chocolate, just the weird crunchy stuff in the middle. Uh, no. I'll take a Fifth Avenue over that. Okay. Are we, now we're talking about candy. I'll take a nerd's rope. 
Okay. Those are those, those are, are great. Those are good. I'll order one as well. Who who are we ordering it from? <laughs> are we, are is there a waiter? Is the candy god out there? Candy god, send us candy. If there's anyone out there listening. So I see. This is what I thought you did at the end of the school year. Basically, was like sit in class and not really and order candy. Well, you know, talk about dumb stuff with your friends because you didn't. Like my recollection of the end of school is that that's when things really kind of went off the tracks like everybody was just ready for it to be over like the students the teachers everyone and so we didn't do much like I remember yeah, yeah. in choir in, in particular in my choir class my uh teacher would take any opportunity he could to show us the movie Newsies uh-huh. so <laughs> so I remember watching Newsies like eight times Jeez. <laughs> inquire like anytime it was like end of the school year going into the holidays anything like a half day it was like i don't know here watch newsies they're singing was it a punishment of some kind <laughs> what I, wrong did you do i now hold on i like newsies <laughs> the original movie yeah you don't like newsies I like the musical with christian bale I like the musical have you ever I'm noticed enjoying. that in newsies they live in new york and they sing about santa fe and in rent they live in new york and they sing about santa fe have you ever thought about that you've asked me about that so many times i've never thought about this is that on your mind all the time. and the thing is i'm not gonna think about it in the future again do you ever sing? what i'm asking you taylor is you live in new york do you ever <laughs> sing about santa fe <laughs> uh yeah it's it's required like to keep our, our residential status just at least at least once a year in the snow you have to sing about santa fe and then at some point in your life, you make a pilgrimage. You stay there for, I think, a week, and then you come back because you miss it. Now, wait a minute. He, he stayed in Santa Fe longer video than a week. in like the epic desert, and then you come back. <laughs> they both stayed I'm in Santa at you Fe longer than a week. Movie. That was bad. That was real bad. <laughs> that is true. It kind didn't of looked like, like a Bon Jovi didn't video. Did they like move to Santa Fe? The Newsies? The Newsboys? The, the Newsboys. <laughs> Like the knockout news? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm sure they're going to be showing it to you this week in school. Just watch it again. Is no, that not what you do finals. now? Oh, so you don't. We have four days of school left Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And Wednesday, no, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have finals. And then Monday is like a review day for finals. See, we didn't have to take finals unless we missed more than three days of school. See, they've changed it now. So if you've missed less than three days of school, you still have to take them. But if you do better than a 65%, it's like you don't fail, then it doesn't count against you. Huh. I feel like so, I always had to take finals, but that's probably because I just always missed a lot of school. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that sounds very complex. Yeah. Um, yeah they prob- I just always miss so much school. I don't even have to think about it. <laughs> they probably should just make us all take finals, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, 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 otherwise, we're just watching newsies. <laughs> just think about it. I mean, like, you could be super dumb. Miss, like, no school, come to school all the time, just not do your work. But, hey, you don't have to take finals. Think about that. I think, well, I think either finals are important or they're not would be my thought. I don't know if they are or not, but, I I mean. I don't think they are. If they are, we should all take them. If they're not, then no more finals. I have no more finals. You're going to have finals in college if you plan on going to college. So it seems like it's probably a good preparation. That may be the, the, if I'm, they made them, not to be the the bummer here. <laughs> Go test. No, no, I agree. But like, if they made them like an actual like, from what I have seen, is college finals. If they made them like that, like either a really big paper you had to write or like a super hard <coughs> test you used to study for, then like, yeah, okay, I understand you're preparing us for college. But that's not what it is. It's like here's a ten question quiz, um, for math based on the last week of stuff that we've done so you don't have to go back and study anything from the beginning of the year so here's just you know like a quiz basically on what we've been doing for the past week so so wait they're tests that are easy to pass yeah Uh except for i have one class my english class where we just did a unit on 12 angry men like the play yeah and uh our final is we have to read a 40 page mock trial and make notes on it and highlight it and make as many notes on it as we want and then we're only allowed to take our handwritten notes into the final and we have to write a closing argument for Ooh. either the defense or the prosecution but he doesn't tell us until we get there that sounds fun yeah, yeah. that sounds fun see i like that but yeah. that's like the hardest final i have but that see because my the idea to me of like you have a day or a week that's set aside to take tests that i know i'm gonna do well on that's a very <laughs> exciting week of school for me <laughs> i like i'm gonna say this i like tests I, but okay, 
Let me well, throw this I, at I you. I think I think I'm I think I'm decent at them at like the skill of test taking, which is right. separate, right, from the skill of knowing the stuff. Yeah, it's very different. Yeah. I mean, I could know all the stuff and be really bad at taking tests. So I I I always like test days, especially once I got to med school. Test days, it was like I just would like show up in my like sweatshirt and jeans and mm-hmm. just take a test all day. It was just great. I love that it, when I was taking boards as like a break during residency, like I just have to sit in front of a computer and answer a bunch of questions about medicine and I don't have to walk around at all. This is great. <laughs> but like, I feel that. Um... I like tests. What what can I say? I like tests. <laughs> Sydney, okay? you said that like five times. We all understand and accept that about you. I feel you on like taking tests when you know you're going to do well on them. But what if like, okay, so my science class, my chemistry class, um, we learn a lot of stuff and he doesn't really explain it very well. It's just kind of like, okay, we're going to spend two days covering this chapter. So this whole semester, we're going to learn about 40 different chapters. So then we've learned about 40 different chapters, 40 different topics. He doesn't tell us what's going to be on our final. He just says, well, study everything you got. And then we go to take our final. It's nothing that we've learned. Well, that is, that's more intimidating, I guess, than watching movies. Right, right. Like my other finals, I'm like, okay, they gave me a study guide. That's exactly what's going to be on the test. This guy, nope. I know nothing that's going to be on the test. Um, well, I, I can understand why you would not enjoy the end of the school year when mm-hmm. you when you put it that way. Because that's really like when I was I was kind of reminiscing about what was the end of the school year like for me. It was really just watching movies. Like we watched a lot of Newsies. We watched Sister Act 2 so many times that I could um, sing you the entire movie. Can you please? Not right. Maybe when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching that many, many times. Um, Justin was saying that he had a teacher who used to bring an Atari in and they would just sit and play Atari games. See, that sounds cool. That's cool. You know, I do yeah. something like that. I was always uh, I was always waiting on the last day or so of school for uh, my secret crush to finally admit their love to me. Spoiler alert, never happened. Aww. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> that was a sad story. <laughs> I told people about a silence after that. I don't know how to comfort you now. I, I, I'm, I, I'm not. I don't think I'm alone in, in that uh, that thought, though. I'm sure other people no. would be like, "Oh, yeah, they're just waiting, waiting until it's epic at the end, like, like can't hardly wait style." Exactly. No, I I know what you mean. I actually I'll fold that in with one thing that we used to do, and I know that you don't do now. Uh, We used to bring disposable cameras to school, like the last week of school, so that you could make sure and take pictures of like all your friends so you didn't forget who they were. you don't forget what they look like? So you can bring them for reference at the beginning of the following school year, I assume. Like you put like your little like study guide, like your your, your notes, like your little little detective pad. Oh, oh, gotcha. This is is Brittany. Hey, Brittany. I see you you like um, your hobbies include shopping. I remember that from last year. I have this picture of you in the cafeteria, so I assume you eat at some point. <laughs> Enjoy also. French fries, apparently. <laughs> I also eat at some point. Would you like to be my friend? Should we eat? <laughs> no, wait, sorry. It's not eat time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I forgot how to function and make sentences over summer break. Uh, no, I, I, think I remember all we, summer you just study your friend catalog. Totally <laughs> we would all bring these disposable cameras so that we could take a bunch of pictures and then like have all these pictures at the end of school. I still have a lot of these. And I remember I was looking through not too long ago, one of my pictures from the end of the school year, or one of my stacks of pictures. And I had a picture that I took of the boy I had a crush on. Creepy. Like from a distance, <laughs> like there's some bushes. So it's not <laughs> there. It's like he was across. Sleeping. It's across the gym. We were eating lunch in the gym. <laughs> we used to do that. We were eating lunch in the gym, and he's like on the stairs of the gym. And at that moment, he was pretending to do like a basketball shot, like a jump shot. So it's a picture of him oh, like dreamy. jumping. It's a pretty good like sports shot, I think. Uh-huh. <laughs> Other than the fact that it's like from a distance and blurry because I like <laughs> I like grabbed the camera and just went like real fast up and click and down. <laughs> so, so he wouldn't see me taking a secret real picture. Fast. <laughs> um, and I still have that picture to this day. <laughs> That's really creepy. That's I mean, really creepy. I mean, I don't like, I don't like, like look at it and wonder what if. But, but. you did. No, <laughs> back in the day, maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe I tried to cast love spells on it. You never know. Like in that, what's that movie? I forget that movie. Never mind. Great story, right? Really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, you know, I think that, um, I think that you guys have highlighted something that uh, you were both very good at, and I was good at for a while. I finally grew out of, which was uh, missing a lot of school. Yep. Ooh, yeah. 
really that good was, at Mission School. I, I yeah. remember when I when Pokemon first started to air the cartoon, and it came on at like two thirty or like three. It came on at a point where I would not be able to see it if I went to school. So I just started like pretending to be sick. I don't. I didn't really have a long term plan there. <laughs> like I don't know if I just like I'm just gonna just a uh, straight A student until I discover Pokemon, and then I dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> I got like three good days out of that. And then mom was like, no, you, you can't stay home just to watch Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that mom said that because I, I remember mom being really, really lax when it came to like yeah, missing well, school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, And I like I had to, I don't know, in some ways like it worked because I remember like seriously in kindergarten, I missed 32 days of school. I had I like the that record. You that. Yeah. <laughs> like a record so for kindergarten. <laughs> I mean, there, I, there couldn't have been that much going on, right? It was kindergarten. Sydney, this is why Sydney doesn't know what red is. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the week they went over red. I don't know what it is. She, so she sees a triangle and she's like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of like Charlie. Charlie can count to 20, except she always skips 14. Somehow she just missed that, that one number. <laughs> she missed that day. <laughs> she missed the 14 day. <laughs> Uh, 14 is very, rarely of use in my life as an adult. It's fine. She never needs to know 14. Just 13 and 15. <laughs> it's 14. a lot. You round up or you round down. You're fine. <laughs> but I, I know that as school went on, like I didn't want to miss as much because it just got to be a pain to like make it up and mm-hmm. to show up and, and like, I don't know. I always felt like my teachers were kind of annoyed with me. And so after a while, I just... I would be like, no, mom, I really got to go. Oh, you can stay home today. No, no, I shouldn't. I really should just go and just get it over with. See, I do that. But like, I always say, no, no, I shouldn't knowing that I'm going to. So it's like, oh no, I shouldn't. I should go. And the mom's like, come on, stay home, go back to bed. I'm like, oh, if you insist, <laughs> I must. I always love mom. I know she has the same defense of you that she always did of us, which was as long as you're making straight eights, I don't know what you missed on those days you didn't go. <laughs> which is really true. Like I've missed a lot of school true. and I still am making straight A's. I don't know what they're doing where I'm not missing anything. <laughs> like I don't know if I was just really good at picking days to miss or maybe I just, you know, maybe when I'm there, I'm not missing anything either. They're just watching movies. Yeah, yeah, you're missing all movies. those newsy screens. <laughs> Uh, for me, it was it was Outbreak. I think I watched Outbreak like three times in my microbiology class. See, that would have been fun. I watched a lot of Interstellar last year. We could only make it through twice because it's such a long movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the whole end of the school year we watched Interstellar <laughs> twice. I was going to say, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, I remember I watched the coolest movie about the fight between Edison and Tesla. <laughs> yeah. Wait. No. For a sentence, that was under... <laughs> <laughs> I to the I, like there have been times where I've tried to find it like on Netflix. <laughs> there's still a, there's a movie that we're watching in class right now. It's about Edison and Tesla, oh. but it's very recent, so I doubt it was the same one you watched. No. But hey, if you're ever looking for it, it's on Hulu. <laughs> I should watch that because I did. I remember it was in eleventh grade and I watched it, and I remember thinking like, oh, I wish I still had that movie about Edison and Tesla because it was great. It's also about a uh, big uh, businessman uh-huh. like uh, Rockefeller. Yeah, J.P. Morgan, mm-hmm. the uh, robber barons, Carnegie, mm-hmm. all those people. It's about them too. It's like a whole series. I actually would really enjoy those. I know you would. <laughs> it's all on Hulu. <laughs> I really wish a robber baron was as cool as it sounded because I would want to be <laughs> one just based on the name. Robber or baron. robber baron. I think it was just like somebody who made a lot of money in unethical ways. What's that? What's that? Or questionably on, ethical on, ways. I shouldn't on, say unethical. On Snoopy, is it his like his? His uh, doghouse in the Red Baron. The Red Baron. Yeah. yeah, but he's like a pilot. I know, I know, but like, <laughs> I know, but like, but like here, we, here we are. <laughs> when I first heard, <laughs> when I first heard Robber Baron, I thought that was the same thing as Snoopy's barn or his <laughs> no, his doghouse. So I thought that so was the like same the, thing. The name for it is that's technically so a I was Baron. Like, oh my god, I know what that is. That's Snoopy's doghouse. So in class, they said Robber Baron, and you said, oh, like Snoopy's barn. You know, Snoopy's barn that he Snoopy's, sleeps on. Snoopy's doghouse. Snoopy's See? doghouse. You really were over... missing something on those days, right? <laughs> I leaned over to one of my friends. I was like, oh, I know that. And then he, our teacher said the definition. And I, she said, you already knew that? And I just thought, no, that's not what I was thinking. But I said, yep, I already knew that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, don't say out loud what you thought it was. <laughs> yeah, really, don't, don't bring up. Oh, I, mean, I thought it was the internet, sure. do with peanuts. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say you should be going to school more, Riley. Hey, my lowest grade is like a 95. I think I'm doing pretty okay. <laughs> I'd be glad you're asking me about that. Got corrected on that before you wound up on Jeopardy one day. <laughs> the worst <laughs> answer to any question ever. <laughs> What is Snoopy and his doghouse? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, Alex Trebek. I'm going to make it a true double jeopardy. <laughs> that was a good try, though. <laughs> I remember uh, at the end of the school year, um, one year, I, it was my 11th grade year, and I was in this history class which was supposed to be for seniors, but I was a junior. And so I was the only junior in it. Oh, well. So all the seniors were like skipping and missing and having to do a bunch of senior stuff. And so there were lots of days in class where we, towards the end where we just didn't do anything. And actually since seniors got out early. You were the only one in there. And so he didn't make me come. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I actually, it was my first class of the day. So I just came a period late, Nice. which was super cool for the last week of school. But I remember one day we weren't doing anything. So I've, fell asleep on my desk, uh-huh. you know, because what what, right, what else right. do you want to do? Right. And I got a letter about I, I was um, in the running for a, a scholarship. I didn't get it, but I was in the running for a scholarship <laughs> and he got it delivered to the class and he had to come over and wake me up to hand me this letter <laughs> <laughs> and like the scholarship thing on the front of it and everything. He was like, huh, hey, wake up. <laughs> like, hey, you're a great student here. <laughs> Here's your scholarship letter. I'm like laying there in a pool, a puddle of drool. <laughs> did you guys ever cut class? No. You never. know, I I never did as, as a child all through uh, college, high school, whatever. But uh, as an adult, my Japanese class, I have, I have missed on occasion. And uh, I get an email, a very gentle worrisome email from my uh my Japanese teacher asking me if I'm okay and it happened once and I felt so guilty I never missed class again <laughs> oh well that's that's nice that's it's understandable than getting your Japanese trouble. teacher Although, is very yeah. nice she gave me a lot of candy the one she time did. I came to your Japanese <laughs> she didn't know what to do so she just gave me a lot of candy <laughs> yeah I don't uh I all that all the like the cool kids cutting class and I was like man I wonder if I'll ever be one of those no clearly I could never have been the nope. guilt would have gotten to me before I would have gotten off the hill I cut class one time and, and and we should clarify. So we, we all went to or are going to the same high school and it was impossible to leave school. Yeah. Unless well, it's on like a giant hill. So there's one entrance and one exit and there's a, like a security <laughs> guard standing right there. Yeah. You, you so, could hike about two miles in some woods one direction. Though. Yeah. <laughs> there is a way where you could get to where we used to live. Yeah. Our old like house, over like a hill. Walked over the hill. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you'd have to go right by the guard shack to get there. Yeah. He'd see you and be like, hey, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> get get down off the hill. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to make a run for it because I don't think he would have followed you. Probably not. The entire school would have seen you climbing that hill, but they would have. <laughs> it's <is> true. <laughs> She's going for it. She's like, "Come on, go!" They're all cheering. <laughs> like somebody's gonna make it. <laughs> but the, <laughs> but there was no way to like cut cut class or cut school and like take off and go somewhere fun. Yeah. So if you were gonna cut class. You had to hide somewhere in the school, basically. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand how they do it. Like, there are kids who cut class all the time. Like, where do they go? Well, I will tell. I cut class one time. Oh, Sydney's the rebel. She'll educate yeah, us. One, here we go. one time. I I doubt this is where all the kids went because this is not cool. <laughs> uh, the reason I cut class is we did. I was in the theater department mm-hmm. and I we were doing a show and we did our school show that morning. So the show was over. Uh, and then we were supposed to go to class mm-hmm. like everyone else uh, who attended the show. And I didn't want to. I think actually the class that I got was gym. So I don't know that this is <laughs> <laughs> the most daring thing ever. I cut gym class uh, and hung out in the orchestra pit. Oh, I hid in the orchestra pit. Yeah. yeah. Especially it was covered a mm-hmm. lot of the time. And there was like a way you could sneak down underneath the cover. Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, with all the other kids who were in the show. All the other we, cool kids. All, all the other rebels. <laughs> all the other cool theater kids and me. We hung out in the orchestra pit and, I mean, probably just like sang Rent songs. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. And Tips class. for young rebels from Sydney Smurl. <laughs> I instantly told mom as soon as I got home because <laughs> I was so worried, like, oh my gosh, what if she gets a letter and it's like, your your child missed this class. No, they do that now. Well, see, that's what I thought. Like, what if they, what if they do? And then she's going to 
she's going to be mad or she, what if they call her and then she's like, I don't know, she did. And so I was hoping mom would cover for me. <laughs> like, she, when listen. When you told her, she was probably like, okay. Yeah, I don't think she cared that I skipped gym class. Yeah. And honestly, nothing ever came of it. So I don't even know if my gym teacher knew I skipped gym class. <laughs> That, this was the same teacher who gave me the Presidential Fitness Award. Gotcha. So probably no. And I definitely did not do a Presidential Fitness Award exam. <laughs> there was like a series of things yeah, you had yeah, to do yeah. for that. I didn't do any of those things, but I got a Presidential Fitness Award. <laughs> probably had to give it to somebody. <laughs> I think a lot of us got one. Yeah. Now if you miss even one class, it, whenever a teacher marks you absent, you get a call at the end of the day around like five or six o'clock that says, your daughter... Ryla, Smurl, was absent today. <laughs> but that was my cool one time I cut class. Yeah, I've never cut class before. I've, I've also never been tardy to school or to class. Always on time. Really? Well, that is. Mm-hmm. Never what? had one tardy. I've missed a lot of school and never had a tardy. You just go 100%. Like, well, I'm not going to make it on time. I'm not going to go at all. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. There was one That's, time I went in late. It was because we had a flight. It was when we were coming back from the Pacific Northwest. And that night we didn't get home until like one or two because yeah, we, our flights kept getting pushed back. So mom was like, I'll let you go in an hour late tomorrow. So I got to sleep in until seven instead of waking up at six. And I went in one class late. Well, that's because that's because dad takes you. Yeah, that's you know? because dad takes me. He's but a like, functional man. Yeah, dad is in, always on time for yeah. everything, always. If I go in any later than that. He says he has to go to work, so mom's the one left to taking me to school. And if mom's the one left to taking me to school, most of the time, I would end up going. <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm going in one class late, yeah, I'll make it because dad will still be going to work and he'll take me. Two classes late, nope, dad's got to go to work, so mom's going to be the one to take me. Um, yeah, and I can't, I can't say much about that because I have inherited mom's lateness gene. I am late yeah. for everything always. I cannot be on time to save my life. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I was definitely that way when I started driving uh, in high school. And uh, poor Taylor was the victim of this <laughs> because she was a freshman and I was a senior. And so she had to ride with me to, to school. And I remember dry, do you remember how I used to drive too fast? Do you remember oh, us yeah. speeding along that curvy little road? to get to high school every morning. Well, um, we would never defrost the car in the winter. We were always in a hurry. <laughs> and the, the wind, windshield would always be frosted over. I remember one day driving to school and I was leaning out the window with a sock because that you had that in your car. You didn't have a scraper or any logical <laughs> You did have a dirty sock. That sounds <laughs> right. Defrost the window with my hand in a sock. I used to use... um. CD cases a lot. I would oh, chip yeah, at the works. at the ice with the CD case, <laughs> or I would just do the thing where you just douse the windshield in wiper fluid, and you know it's going to freeze over again. But you, you just, just keep do it doing over it over the whole way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that too. I think this is a windshield fluid uh, stock combination that, that we found worked. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I remember we were uh, we were always late, but we didn't get in trouble. We didn't get tardies because we, Taylor and I took. We took one class together. We took a Japanese class together because it didn't matter what grade you were in. You know, everybody could take the same one. So we took a Japanese one together and it was our first class of the day the entire year. It was one of those that went the entire year. And uh, we were late most days, but our teacher was so nice and he never, he never counted us tardy. No. No. I don't know if, I mean, I, I remember saying I was sorry a lot. But I don't remember him ever. Yeah. I also remember us fighting in his class once and him getting very upset about it. Yeah. I can um, see that. Him telling us to calm down and stop and be very upset about it. But do you remember I so one time, this is a very heroic no, story is, of sisterly sacrifice. Uh-huh. Senpai. Let me let me preface it let me preface it with that. Okay. Okay. So we were late one morning as usual and we're like running through the hallway to get to our Japanese class. And one of the assistant principals is standing at like, <laughs> he's like standing in this one, like right outside his office. Of the, but it was like a big boss confrontation just right there, like in the middle of the hallway, arms crossed. <laughs> oh yeah. Right there, arms crossed, just waiting. And he was collecting kids who are running you know for all the because he was in front of all the wings where like the science and math and social studies and all that 
like right in front of the main office. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. standing there, arms crossed, like just like, nope, stop, stand right there. And like collecting kids who are running in mm-hmm. late. And he he waits till he's gathered everybody who's running in. And we're all standing there like in a terrified semicircle. Uh-huh. And he's like, I'm done with this. Everybody's late all the time. There's never any consequences for it. You're all paying for it. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. I'm going right back in my office right here <laughs> to get a paper and a pencil. And I'm writing all your names down. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and you're all in trouble for this. So that was that was a dumb move. Yeah. You left, he left you all there. So he goes in his office. And of course, as soon as he goes in his office, a couple kids just like take off, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> there's a bunch of us. Like he does, he's not going to remember. Yeah. And he didn't know our names, obviously, because right. he needed to write them down. And so a couple kids just take off. And Taylor and I look at each other and I go, go, run. <laughs> I won't leave you behind. And Either. I was like, no, you go. You go. It's fine. I'm a senior. It doesn't matter. You're a freshman. You've got too much time ahead <laughs> of you here. Fact, your whole life is in front of you. <laughs> you can't start off on the wrong foot. You can't go down this way. It's too I'll early. Never forget you. You're too young. <laughs> I'll never let go. I was like, run. Just go, Taylor. Don't look back. Go. And I did. And like she did. A coward. She took off running. What what did the principal do to you? Nothing. Did you just write your names down? There's the yeah, there's there you go. He took all our names down and I I mean, that was almost punishment enough for me because I kept waiting, thinking like, what's gonna happen? Right. When when am I gonna get the call? When are my parents gonna get the <laughs> when call? Am I gonna get expelled? <laughs> am I gonna get in house suspension? Am I gonna get expelled? What's gonna happen? Nothing ever came of it. That makes sense. I don't know. Maybe there's a letter in my file. Some you know that that secret file that they tell you exists. Yeah. It's going on your record. Maybe it's still out there. That that other shoe's gonna fall one day. <laughs> just, you're gonna enter your door, and he's gonna be there with his arms crossed. It is time for the reaping. <laughs> <laughs> the reckoning has come. <laughs> You knew this would happen. <laughs> I would love to say I learned my lesson. Oh, yeah. I never, I am to this day, it is hard for me to be anywhere on time. So, mm. you know, mm. but mm. you're never tardy, huh? Nope. Well, dad's, you know, dad's always on time for everything. So dad's the one taking me. We're the world's on most time. punctual man. Yeah. And I also don't like walking in the hallways because I walk very fast um, just, you know, usually and the people in the hallways always walk really, really slow. So mm-hmm. I just always kind of like, kind of, you know, go, go make my way through the hallway, leave class as soon as the bell rings. So I'm out there before all the people get out there. And I always make it to class with like five minutes to spare, even though we have seven minutes in class. So I never yeah. late to class. You'll do well in New York because that's one thing. I love visiting in other cities, but I can never handle the pace that other people walk. Like yeah, New York is the only fast. city that people walk as fast as I would like them to. Yeah, and any t- anywhere else, I'm like, no, everyone's moving exactly five seconds too slow. <laughs> I just don't understand. Like, yeah, I know we have seven minutes in between class, but how is it? How is it comfortable for you to walk that fast or that slow? <laughs> like, you're literally taking one step a minute. Like, it's gonna take you twenty minutes to get to class. Please, please hurry up, please. Maybe they're not as excited to get there and learn things. <laughs> I'm not excited to get there. I'm excited to get there and then get out of there. Oh. Just get there and get it over with. I, uh, I, I can't say much, guys. I think you both need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> I think you need to, to chill out, stop and smell the roses. Of the hallway? Because the, the hallway, hallway always smells yeah. really bad. <laughs> Why does the hallway smell bad? Because no one knows how to shower at my school. Oh, no. What? They what? all just don't take showers. That's or wear deodorant. <laughs> well, uh, now, that's a teen thing. People yeah. are probably taking showers and wearing deodorant. It's just that you're, you know, your adolescent bodies. Like onions, that's just how it goes. <laughs> your bodies are all sweaty and everyone's teen bad. onion smell. Everybody's adjusting to their new teen bodies. There's it's also hard. Like Seventeen hundred of us in one hallway. That's about four people wide. So it's just I'm so close to everyone there, and I hate it. I and, hate it. So and much. some of those kids have just been to gym class. I mean, not me, because I cut it. Because you cut it at one time. <laughs> That and one Cindy time wouldn't I be sweaty it. after gym class because she's so fit. She got that presidential fitness award. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I did. I didn't. You deserved it. <laughs> you deserved that presidential fitness award. Do you remember learning line dancing in uh, gym class? <laughs> yeah. Like, that yeah, was, I do. Was that weird? <laughs> Do I you had to still learn, do that? Uh, when I went to private <laughs> school, we had we had about three weeks where we did all different kinds of dance. Okay, all right. There was also a music class once in like fourth or fifth grade, 
we were mm-hmm. learning a song that I guess she thought we all had to dance to. So I remember she lined the boys up on one side of the room or on one side of the risers and girls up on the other side of the risers. And the girls got to pick who they wanted to dance with. And I always thought that was very, that was very uh, forward of her, you know, not forward, but like, you know, she was moving forward, letting the girls pick who they wanted to dance with instead of the boys. <laughs> That's good. The only thing she should have taken another step forward and said, girls, pick whoever you want to yeah, dance with. Yeah, let the girls dance with the girls. I exactly. Agree. But, you know. That sounds terrifying. Yeah, it was me. awful. <laughs> I would never I, want to that, pick it. I actually that would think the next day I didn't go to school because I was like, mom, <laughs> we have to dance with voice and music <laughs> class. And I think we're still doing it today. Can I not go to school? Uh, say no more. Go back to bed. <laughs> we never did any other kind of dancing. We only did line dancing. Yeah. <laughs> I remember learning the chicken dance in gym class because you yeah. burn so many calories <laughs> to this day. That's about I, I remember like, learning the boots. I just do the chicken dance. I remember learning the boot scoot and boogie. <laughs> yeah, what? I remember that. You remember that? Yeah. Boot we did. scoot and boogie. We had, we had the same gym teacher in elementary school. Did he make you all do like the cha-cha slide? Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Like for warming up? Well, electric slide. Electric, electric slide. slide in our day. We did the, the cha-cha slide <laughs> and the electric slide. But that was like our warm up. Like as soon as we got to class, he'd turn it on. That was like what we did to warm up. And then we played games. And, and then we used to have to walk in circles endlessly to um, that song. Uh-huh. I would walk 500 uh-huh. miles. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We used to just walk in circles while he played that mm-hmm. forever. I remember. That was also our warm up. Like on days where we, I guess he didn't want to make us dance. We did that. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I also remember there was None one time of this in, is athletic. in gym class, <laughs> also at private school in like sixth grade, uh, it was Halloween time and she, we were doing a dancing unit. So she turned on Thriller and taught us all the dance to Thriller. Um, but then she split, up, <laughs> split us up into three groups and we all had to choreograph our own dance to Thriller. <laughs> and Did that was our that? gym class for like the whole, first, the whole month of October. I feel like we were that, that looking only looking back. Do you realize that at some points your teachers were not adulting at all? No, <laughs> they were, they were no. Definitely not. no, that's what I'm saying. Because and especially at the end of the school year, like everybody's just ready for school to end. And so everybody's just kind of phoning it in, uh-huh. <laughs> trying to figure out how to fill the time. I just remember like being allowed in class to to like I said, there would be movies on and we were allowed to talk and we were allowed to do whatever. What do you guys do now? Um, I watch Netflix on my phone. Always make sure I have headphones with me in my backpack and I just watch Netflix on my phone. Is that what, if I were to walk into a class in your high school, like at the end of the school year, finals aren't happening at that moment, so nothing's happening. Right. Would it just be like a bunch of kids staring at cell phones? Um, The kids that have friends in their <laughs> classes, they're probably talking to each other, but I can't hear them over my Netflix. <laughs> what, uh, what do you watch on, on the Netflix at, at school? Uh, sometimes I watch Cupcake Wars, oh, sometimes yeah. I watch Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and sometimes I watch How I Met Your Mother. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. That's, and that's all you do in class now? Yeah, not in all my classes. Like my science class, my chemistry class, he's still mm-hmm. making us work. Um, my English class, we're having to work in our final. But other than that, yeah, that's all we do. Yeah. I remember oh. there was always that weird rule where like even when you didn't have anything, like it's the end of the year, we've, we've done our own work, you guys can just chill out, but you can't sleep. And that was always super unfair to me. It's like, why does it matter? I'm not doing anything. Can I just shut down all processes? <laughs> yeah. I need allowed- my rest. <laughs> we're allowed to sleep. But I always feel, I don't know about you guys, I've never been able to sleep comfortably in class because I feel like I'm just going to, I don't know, like fall out of my desk or something <laughs> like while I'm sleeping or someone's going to draw all my face or I don't know. Everyone's just going to stare at me. No, no problems here. <laughs> I did not have that issue uh, so I, I didn't sleep in class frequently, but if given the opportunity, oh, I could. Uh, I remember that was more of a problem for me in college when I would maybe stay out a little too late and I would have some of those, I wouldn't do it in like a lab or something, but some of my big giant lecture halls, oh, yeah. there are so many people, like the teacher does not, I mean, and you don't even have to be there. It's not like they didn't even take attendance. So like they do not care if you're sitting in the back sleeping and I would try so hard to stay awake. And I actually had all these, like, I would sit there and like, try to like, poke my pencil into my leg to try to like keep myself <laughs> awake or like bite my tongue real hard or something <laughs> like just anything like I'd be sitting there like punching myself like well, stay awake stay awake I never had trouble falling asleep in class <laughs> I remember having like little breath drops like little little bottle of breath drops and dabbing it under my eyes so the alcohol would <laughs> make me stay awake like <laughs> wow I was like just keep them That's open commitment. they just have to be open <laughs> <laughs> that's impressive I can do it too much and by the end of the day it's like you just couldn't see it's just, just pain 
Oh gosh, I couldn't yeah. do that. Yeah, that's 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 a commitment to your education right there. There you go. I remember yeah. I had this uh, this sociology class where at the end of the school year, the big thing that she had talked about all year and that we did at the end of the year was she um, made us or told us that she wanted us all to bake worm cookies and bring them in and eat them, cookies with worms in them. What? I think it was supposed to be some kind of lesson about peer pressure or like if you make something normal like everybody will conform to it even though it is something that you wouldn't do otherwise seems irresponsible i don't remember exactly what the point of it was i just remember that there were a handful of kids who actually went out and like collected worms and chopped them up and baked them into cookies and brought them in cookies and then it was like kids like some of the kids would were eating them Ugh, and i just ew. remember thinking like i i don't understand the point of this lesson <laughs> but i'm not doing it i refuse to participate because one ew and two i still don't get what we're yeah. what did are we all, doing did, did you all have field day in elementary school i actually remember yeah. i had that like water slides and you got to wear your bathing suits and you go out and there'd be like water slides yeah. and kickball and mm-hmm. snow cones we had field day, but we did not have the cool field day that you have now. Ours, we actually competed against each other, like in multiple different things. No, that was in middle school. We had field day where we, like, we actually competed against each other, like yeah. sixth grade against seventh grade against eighth grade. Um, but no, we had in middle or in elementary school, Yeah, there was always like water slides and uh, snow the cone machines slides. and hot dogs and popcorn and like dodgeball and kickball and... All that kind of stuff. And like water balloon tosses and like egg races, like Uh where you put the egg on the spoon. Yeah. And that kind of stuff. Mom and dad would always work it. Yeah. And there'd be like a rock wall and you wear your bathing suit all day and like the teachers hand out little bottles of sunscreen and towels and it's great. I remember I just remembered that we did that. Now I miss that. (laughs) Is that is that what you wish the end of school was like? That's what I wish it was like now. I mean now I just take finals. What? Yeah. do you know, do you ever think about in books and in movies and, and TV shows, sometimes there's referenced in school the free period that people have? Mm-hmm. Mm. Or like study hall. Or yeah. study hall. Something like that. People will be like, well, I can do that next because I've got a free period. Yeah. What? Like they talk about that in Archie's like a lot. like all the exciting stuff happens in the books. <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> I know. I've never had a free period or a study hall. I never. I mean, I had. I had classes that where I had like a little bit more freedom to do what I wanted yeah. in the class, but it wasn't a free period. Like no. I couldn't leave. Yeah. No, I never had anything like that. Is, is that a myth? To me it is. I've never, I mean, yeah, is it a I, real thing? Are there places where you can have a free period? I don't know. I I mean, uh, by the time I got to my senior year, I had enough credits that I, I needed like two credits to graduate. So mm-hmm. like half of my day was just like be in the art wing, make stuff which kind of felt like a free period, but that's definitely not what's going on in all of this, the books and the movies. Uh, yeah. No, I people are like leaving and doing other things. I yeah. remember in seventh and sixth grade, there was one day a week every Tuesday where I don't know what we were doing where we had extra time on Tuesdays, but there was always one period at the end of the day where you had study hall and we would go up to like the, the parish hall because we were in private school and study. See, I never had anything but like I mean, that. Yeah, I had a class that I was, I was like a year. library assistant instead of taking a certain class. Yeah. And I went and worked in the library. <laughs> but like people now, I always walk into the library and see the library aides, like all the seniors that are there just trying to fill up a class. They're all like FaceTiming other people or like watching Netflix, just sitting at that little desk at the front of the library. Uh-huh. And I'm like, dang, what are you guys doing? <laughs> like, I come was, on. They're I was doing always exactly what you're doing when you've got that. Yeah, really. They're doing true. what you're doing. That's true. <laughs> Just in the library. No, the sad thing is that uh they're surrounded by all those books and, and they're they not looking reading. at them. Well, that's that what I would do. I would just, thing. I loved reshelving books. Then I could just look through all the books there, like books that maybe I wouldn't have looked at otherwise. You're just, such a cool kid. Like, <laughs> I really, for a while, I was like, "This is my calling. Why am, I should just be a I, sh- I should be a librarian. That's what I should do." You like I look found at books all day. Yeah, I found my calling in life. I should have been a librarian. That's so cool. You were it's so never cool. too late, said to to be a librarian. <laughs> Quit being a doctor. Go be a librarian. <laughs> I'm gonna think about that later. <laughs> That's some serious. I really love that. You. <laughs> Except for I don't want to actually have to work. I just want to like go around reshelving books and looking at them. Go yeah. be like a library volunteer. <laughs> Do they, they have, have those? 
Like, like people that volunteer to go play with the cats at the animal shelter. I just want to just comfort the books. Can I volunteer to comfort the books? I just want to hold them. They need to be held periodically. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think they're going to the let you in the library that like that. I feel like there are library volunteers. You can go and volunteer at the library. Not at I, like not at school. But. I don't think they would call me a library volunteer. I think they'd be like, there's that book creepster <laughs> who wants to come in and hold all the books. That's also an option. You can just go to the library and like go to the books that you can tell no one's been reading for a while and just hold them and look at them, pat them, put them back. Yep. There's the book creeper. She's back. <laughs> Somebody Every get, Wednesday. Oh, no. I'm Somebody get the book creeper out of here. All the, all the kids are scared. <laughs> No one goes into the science section anymore. The book creeper is always in there. <laughs> I love the books. I'm here to caress your spines. <laughs> I just want to hold them. Just let me hold them, please. Riley, I think you should be living up these last days of school because it sounds like, you know, it's kind of like, I mean, I guess you don't get paid, but like you get credit, like you did it, like you finished that day of school each day you went. Yeah. You can feel like that triumph of like, I got up out of bed. I got dressed and I I'm spent here. 45 minutes doing my makeup and I got to school because <laughs> I know that's the truth because now you've yeah. revealed it yeah. and I got to school and I made it through the day and it was not that bad. Yeah. Four more days. What's that that's thing it. that dad says is 95% of success is showing up. Is that one of his dad isms? Yeah. I've heard yeah. him say that before. There you go. There's a thing. He says that every time I miss school. Did you show it up? Did you show up? You got the ninety five percent. Really, a lot happened in that five percent. I guess. Yeah. It also it it's funny how much it changes too, though, because like we all did that. I, I think we all had we were similar about that in school. Um, but I know Taylor, this has been true for you as a working adult, and I I'm at, and I know it's for me, and I know I imagine it will be for you too, Riley. It's so much different when it's your job. And oh, when you yeah. feel like an obligation to like what you do and to the people you work with. And for me, like my patients and everything, um, I, I never miss work. I have so many sick days and I'm, I've actually accumulated so many vacation days now that I'm losing them because I can't accrue <laughs> anymore. Like I, I never miss work ever, but yeah. at, in school, it just, I don't know. No, I, I think I've been working in the restaurant industry for like 10 years now. I've never called out ever. I've shown up so sick that my boss is like, no, really, you can go. Leave. <laughs> you please. look awful. But like, I literally got hit by a car on my way to work once. Like, like all busted up, bleeding, like couldn't extend my arm. Still wheeled the rest of my, my broken bike to work. It's like, I'm here. It's like, oh, God, okay. don't be here. <laughs> go to the hospital. It's like, no, but I showed up. That's so, commitment. So there yeah. you go, Riley. Be yeah. like us. <laughs> Be like us. Go to work sick. Ninety-five percent of showing school. up. <laughs> That's what Dad said. <laughs> well, One um, more days, guys. Next time, next time you hear from me, I'll be on summer break. Hang in there. You can do it. I can do it. Yeah. Almost and then, there. hey, the time after that, be in New York. And yeah. have you have a great summer. See you next year. <laughs> Love you like a sister. <laughs> Are you telling me that because I'm not going to see you until like September? <laughs> no, nah, it just seems like end of school stuff. <laughs> BFFE, TTYN, TTFN. Talk, talk to you never? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ouch. S S M H. Maybe it's talk to you now. <laughs> turned. <laughs> just, is that what you were just writing all the yearbooks? Turned. <laughs> Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchatted. Lit. Snapchatted for good. Wall ball. And ever. Wall, wall ball. ball. <laughs> Hashtag. By the way, after we're done, I'm going to tell you all what wall ball is because my friend Carolyn told me all about it. Oh, she, really? did? she played it in high school. She knows all about it. Oh, thank God. It's sort of basically a reason to throw balls at each other. Okay, good. Because so, I was getting I'll really concerned when I saw right. another name for it was butts up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, sisters. <laughs> <You said> butts. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for... for joining us uh, again this week thank you everybody who's listening thank you if you uh, tweeted us at still buff uh, thank you for joining our facebook group if you haven't please do still buffering the facebook group uh, there are all kinds of splinter groups now uh, yeah. yeah anything you're cool. interested in basically Movies, anything we've books, talked video about games exactly all sorts of stuff pen pals yeah everything uh so so check out that and see if there's any of those groups you want to join i think a D group is yeah. starting up yeah so so join that. Um, if you want to email us, if you have suggestions, you can. Uh, if you have something you'd like us to talk about, or a question, or just 
whatever you want to say, comments, anything, uh, still buffering at maximumfun.org. Um, and by the way, check out maximumfun.org, which is our, our lovely family of podcasts. BT dubs. There you go. Use that now. <laughs> There's another one. BT dub. You can say that. By the way, same syllables. Just say the real word, actually. Oh. <laughs> you can say that and they'll know you're a cool teen. <laughs> or that. Uh, and, and, <laughs> and then you can check out any of the other wonderful sh- podcasts on our network. Uh, and you can also find us, by the way, at Teen Google. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, that's awesome. I, I have just been notified that the Teen Google directs to uh, Still Buffering. Yeah, so. te- TeenGoogle.com. Yep. Check it out. You'll get, to, uh, you'll get to us. Yep. Riley, you are Teen Google. That's a lot of I, pressure. I am I Teen know. Google. Live up to that name, I Riley. am the teen in Teen Google. Yeah. Uh, and thank you to the novellas for our song, our theme song, Baby you Change Your Mind. Yeah. So this has been Still Buffering, a sister's guide to teens through the ages. I am Riley Smurl. I'm Sydney McElroy. I am a teenager. And I I was was two. two. I'm Allegra Ringo, a dog owner. And I'm Renee Colbert, a dog wanter. And we host a show called Can I Pet Your Dog? The podcast for unapologetic dog lovers. You can find us every Tuesday on MaximumFun.org or on iTunes. So now what is this? Is this just a podcast where all we do is talk about dogs? Yeah, sort of. Uh, we definitely have a segment called Dogs We Met This Week, where we tell you about, you know, dogs we met this week. We also have a segment called Dog Heroes, as well as Cool Dog Tech and Stupid Dog Tech. We also have some of your favorite celebrities. Lin-Manuel Miranda, who did Hamilton, has been a guest. We've got Leslie Margarita. Uh, We've had Nicole Byer, Ann Wheaton, all the best uh, dog-related celebrities. So check us out every Tuesday on MaximumFun.org or on iTunes. Can I pet your dog? Can I pet your dog? With Renee and Allegra. C-I-P-Y-D. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Listener supported.